do. So um, my name is Phil Kaplan. Maybe Dr. Ashton will introduce me again, but that's who I am. I'm Phil Kaplan. I'm here in Boynton Beach, Florida. I have traveled the world helping people find fitness and reverse weight loss resistance. That's what I do. So I'm privileged to be here with you guys tonight. And um, this is live and this is Zoom. So as Sal and Dr. Ash and I were discussing before we started, anything that can go wrong will probably go wrong. So we're gonna do the best we can to have a very, very powerful hour. I need to mute somebody the whole time I got back. Are you guys hearing me okay? Text all the way through the time. Yeah, yes. You need to okay, we're hearing other people right. too. May I ask right? a quick question? Everybody? Yes. Okay, everybody should be muted. Dr. Ashton, are you unmuted? You got to unmute yourself. And yeah, and Mark uh, Florman has a question. If you want to unmute yourself, Mark, and then you could ask that question, but everyone else remain muted. For now. Will this be recorded? I, I would like to be able to play it for my wife who, who can't be here right now. Yes, the answer we'll, is yes. Yep, we'll record this for you all to, and that's, that's one of the, you want me to start, Phil? Yeah, that's a good okay. idea. Do Thank it. you very much. So yes, uh, we will have uh, this recorded for you all to review again because the information coming your way is extremely, extremely vital. And believe me, I wouldn't be here doing this if I didn't think it was going to help patients, patients everywhere uh, discover new awareness on how it is we're going to be healthy, wealthy, and wise instead of being sick and miserable, taking multiple medications, and still feeling like crap. Now, I've been in the medical field for 40 years and as a surgeon. As a matter of fact, I did three surgical procedures today and I can help people a lot of ways with my surgical procedures, but I found through the years that they are still having trouble because of too many medications, too much inflammation, uh, bad approaches, fad diets, things that don't work. And you're gonna to learn tonight more information than most people on the planet will have access to. And if you can put it to work, the results will be astounding to you. I can talk from personal experience. I was 50 pounds overweight. I was full of stress. I was full of inflammation. I followed these guidelines and uh, I feel better than I felt since I was 35 years old. And believe me, as a general surgeon doing trauma surgeon, trauma surgery in Palm Beach County, it was stressful. Uh, but I survived that and now I am thriving. So that's why I want you to pay particular attention to what Phil has to say tonight. It's gonna to be a bit fast, a bit furious, but the information is amazing. So Phil, let's get this ball rolling and see what we can do about changing how people think about- So let me, let me start with this. So go I'm ahead. sure at least some of you know at least one person who has been diagnosed with a chronic disease. And when I say that, I don't mean they're super sick, maybe high cholesterol, metabolic syndrome, pre-diabetes, type two diabetes, hypertension. I'm sure you know somebody who has been diagnosed with some disease. And in all likelihood, they've been told that this is a forever disease, but here's the good news. There's a drug for that. There's a medication for that. So the belief is, they will have this disease forever, but they will take the medication forever. If you're looking at your screen, what you're seeing is something miraculous. This is two cells from one. This is cell division. This is the essence of human growth and human healing. So if you think about at a cellular level, you are able to regenerate. At a cellular level, you are able to fix things that are broken then isn't it possible that wherever you are, medically, health-wise, if you get back your innate power to divide cells healthfully, you can regain health. The human machine is miraculous. We can regenerate tissue. 
we can recompose tissue. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, I want to turn fat into muscle. You don't turn fat into muscle. Muscle doesn't turn into fat any more than a grapefruit is going to turn into your carpeting. But you can get rid of fat and build muscle. Thus, you recompose your body. And whatever you had once, you can restore. So if you lived in a state of health and you've moved away from that state of health, in all likelihood, you can get that health back. Now, when I talk about this being miraculous, I mean it. And we never stop and think about it. But, you know, when you're a little kid, you fall, you get an abrasion, you cut your knee, you cut your elbow, you're boxing with your friends, you cut your lip. And if you look at that spot now, you see no evidence of that injury because it healed. Cell division regenerated tissue. If you ever broke a bone, the doctor set it in a cast and the bone healed. You regenerated tissue. It is miraculous that we are capable of regeneration or in a sense, fixing. If you have moved away from optimal health in any way, you need a vehicle by which you can regain that innate mechanism that allows you to heal. And that's what we're gonna give you. We're gonna give you back your power to reverse whatever it is that ails you. All of the chronic diseases that I mentioned are reversible. Every one of them. Now, I know that when people start to feel symptoms, they get brain fog, they get fatigue, they put on seven pounds, they can't figure out why, and they can't lose it, or they lose it and gain back 10. They end up going to the doctor. And many of my best friends are doctors. I have great admiration for doctors. But the medical system itself, I would say, is flawed when it comes to treating chronic disease because the primary intervention is a drug prescription. So if you're diagnosed with type two diabetes, you get a prescription for metformin and they say, this will fix you. Years ago, there were drugs for weight loss, the FenFen drugs. Unfortunately, some people developed primary pulmonary hypertension and died. So they pulled those drugs, but they come out with new ones. Here's the interesting thing. With all the drugs that come out, with all the people you see standing in the pharmacy line at Walgreens, there is not one drug, and Dr. Ash, I'm gonna ask you to confirm this. There is not one medication, not a single one of the thousands that will cure any chronic disease. The intervention that medicine refers to, relies upon to treat chronic disease is completely impotent. There is not a single drug that will reverse a chronic disease. Dr. Ashton, you agree? And what makes things worse is people are not on a single drug. My patients come in here on five, 10. I've seen patients with 15 different drugs and none of those drugs are going to do what they're hoping they'll do. As a matter of fact, the side effects probably make things a lot worse. So absolutely, I agree with you on that one, Phil. So if you're looking at your screen, you're probably not going to make much sense out of this, but I'm going to explain it. And then as we go, it'll make more sense to you. If you look at the arrow that's rising up, that is called adrenal stimulation. That is the fight or flight response. So if the elevator door opens and there's a bear, suddenly zoop, your heart rate speeds up, you start breathing differently, you start to sweat. This is called fight or flight. Now it serves you because in that state of adrenal overload, you can probably punch the bear and maybe get away. Or you could run really, really fast. And then once you get away from the bear, then the down arrow kicks in, and this is called parasympathetic recovery. This is the parachute. This is your body coming back into balance. And that state of balance is called homeostasis. That's the way nature intended for this adrenal stimulation to work. If you get scared, you get powerful for a short period of time, and then you recover. Here's what's interesting. When the wound on your knee healed when you fell off your bike, when the bone healed when you broke your leg, when the cut on your face healed when somebody punched you, it happened in the state of homeostasis, balance. In that state of recovery, that's where your body heals. As a matter of fact, if you lift weights, that doesn't build muscle. Lifting weights breaks down muscle, but in the state of healing, you recover, you regenerate and you build new muscle. So here's what I'm gonna to say to you now. If you are suffering with any chronic disease, you have not been able to get back into homeostasis in quite some time. 
you're not able to get back into that state where your body heals. So I'm going to make a few statements and Dr. Ashton, feel free to jump in if something I say is incorrect medically or if you want to reinforce it either way. Okay. But let's start with this understanding. All of the diseases that I mentioned earlier have at their root inflammation. Inflammation is the root cause of all chronic disease. And when we look at the medical system, allopathic medicine does not treat it that way. They treat it as if somebody comes with symptoms that need to be medicated. But the actual cause is underlying inflammation. And if we can reverse the inflammation, we can get rid of the symptoms and we can reverse the disease. And the underlying cause of this chronic inflammation is chronic adrenal stress. And I'll talk more about that. So if we can get people to recover from chronic adrenal stress and get them to reverse inflammation, then we get them well. And as you learn, strategic exercise and supportive eating can reverse disease. I know that runs counter to what most people believe, but I am proving it every single day. In order to further understand this, you have to look at, I said the, the human machine is miraculous because we can regenerate, recompose. Another thing that the body does that is really marvelous is it adapts. When we lift weights, we break down tissue, but some innate force within us says, yeah, this guy needs to be stronger. So it adapts by creating more muscle. We get stronger. That is a process of adaptation. We live in a world right now where many people sit all day. They get out of bed and they sit at the table and have their coffee. And they sit on the couch and they watch the news and they sit in their car and they drive to work where they sit in the office and then they go to lunch where they sit in a restaurant. So we have the hostess here. We'll see if there's anything available. All right, hold on. People coming in and I'm hearing them. What are you? Did I mute them? Success. It indeed. <laughs> okay. Is the bird bothering you? Can you hear the screaming bird? The only thing I can do is let it go, like free. <laughs> My daughter will be a little mad. All right, I'm going to keep going. So people sit. And the crazy thing is sometimes they get out of work and they get in their car and they drive to the gym where they go into the gym and they sit on machines and they do this and they do this, but they're sitting. And because they sit, this amazing innate intelligence of the body says, well, this is the posture that this person wants. So it shortens the hip flexors and they develop what's called an anterior pelvic tilt. And then they sit at their computer and they lean forward and they text and they're looking down. And now we have a condition that is prevalent. If you don't believe me, look at an airport, look in a grocery store. It is called forward head, forward head syndrome. And it is exactly what it sounds like. The body changes its form because it thinks it's doing you a favor. So forward head is a very unhealthy posture, but literally your body reshapes itself to accommodate you. That is an adaptation. But that is not a desired adaptation. I don't think anybody says, I would like to have my head walk into a room before the rest of me. I think they're realizing over time that they have bad posture and they feel like they have to do something about it. Well, a maladaptation is exactly that. It's when your body adapts in a way that you don't want. When your body adapts in a way that you didn't plan for. So I'm going to give you a very real life example. A woman wants to lose 40 pounds. So she goes and she joins the diet center and there's an ad and the ad says, lose 30 pounds in 30 days. So she comes into the diet center and she goes, Hey, I'm here. I want to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. She meets with a professional diet counselor and the professional diet counselor takes out a clipboard, writes some things down, says, let's talk about what you eat, enters them in a computer. And she says, it looks like you're taking in about 3,100 calories a day. We're going to put you on the 800 plan. What's the 800 plan? It's 800 calories a day. And we're going to give you these packages of food and delicious tasting shakes, but they don't give you the foods. They sell you 
the foods. So now the woman goes home with these packages of food and delicious tasting shakes. And the first day she follows it perfectly. Second day for a week, she comes into the diet center one week later, the professional diet counselor is there. And we know she's a professional because she has a white coat, Dr. Ashton. And the professional diet counselor does exactly what she's supposed to do. She puts the woman on the scale and the woman lost five pounds. Now in this moment, she's thrilled. She goes, wow, five pounds a week. This is going to take me eight weeks. I'm going to lose all the weight. But something happens in week five. She comes in, she's hungry, she's tired, but she's excited because she knows she's losing weight until she gets on the scale and she weighs the same thing she did the week before. And she goes into a panic, but the professional diet counselor says, oh, no, no, don't worry. You just hit, and this is the word they always use as if it means something, you just hit the plateau. So now we're gonna put you on the advanced program. It's smaller, delicious tasting shakes and we can give you a medication too. Well, now she starts to lose weight again, but this time the weight loss is accompanied by a little voice in her head that says things to her like, Ben and Jerry. What was that? Fish food ice cream. She's getting cravings. Now, she feels guilty and she feels like she has no willpower and she tries to stick to the diet, but sooner or later she gives in and she buys some Entenmann's chocolate chip cookies and she makes a deal with herself. I'm gonna only have one cookie. By the next day, the box is empty and she goes, I'm only know as a binge and all the weight comes back. In fact, she gains more than she lost. Here's the crazy part. Who does she blame? Herself. She blames herself. The fact is the diet made her fatter because what nobody explained to her is restricting calories below what your body needs to sustain metabolism will slow metabolism down. So everyone who tries to rely on dieting for weight loss winds up being resistant to weight loss. It is a maladaptation. Your hypothalamus, your brain doesn't understand what you're trying to do. It thinks you're starving. So it says, I'll protect you. I'll protect you from starving. I'll slow metabolism. I'll change thyroid hormone production. I will sacrifice muscle tissue. So you'll have a slower metabolism. And then when the binge comes, all the weight comes back. So that's a very classic, elegant example of a maladaptation. And it is so common. In fact, I would say the diet industry is the only industry that succeeds because it fails. Because if it worked, nobody would need another diet. So it thrives because it fails people and they come back. So when we look at conditions of obesity or overweight or weight loss resistance, here's what I'm gonna promise you. These are reversible maladaptations, always. But if you use the wrong approach, you're never gonna get there. And the right approach is elusive. And that's why I've developed this program called the Metabolic Reboot. That is the right approach. And when you get the approach right, I'm not gonna read all these, but if you're looking at your screen, Look at the benefits. So yes, you will lose weight, but so much more than that. As Dr. Ashton explained, when he was 50 pounds overweight, he felt different. He thought differently. He moved differently. So it wasn't just weight loss. It was almost like a rebirth. Am I right, Dr. Ashton? It was yep. like, here I am again. Like I'm back. Absolutely. Right? There's one other thing I'd like to inject right here. Yeah. Uh, another way of looking at that, your hormone system changes so much when you're on a starvation diet that even if you go back to a balanced good diet you have so many metabolic systems active that says convert all of that to fat because he's going to do this again and we're going to be starving again so you can say okay i went back to a regular diet and i gained weight that's because your body is saying you tried to kill me with starvation and I'm not gonna let you get away with that. I'm gonna store all that even good food as fat. And that's what your body does because it wants you to survive. So there's so many different ways it comes to work against you when you diet and diets do not work. Don't think of diets. You're never ever again going to go through the checkout line at the grocery store and see fabulous diet lose a hundred pounds in two days. Don't ever look at that stuff. It's driving you down the road to destruction. Just had to I, say, that. So go I ahead. I don't have time for it now, but one day. 
ask me to tell you the story of the diet ginger ale lady. Okay, I'm just planting that seed. Okay. All right. So um, listen, people understand that if they want to lose weight and they want to get healthy and they want to reverse disease, they need to eat right and exercise. And if you are fit and healthy, then that will work. For somebody who has a perfectly healthy metabolism, they can go to the gym, lift some weights, do a little cardio. They're going to get leaner. They're going to put on muscle. They can make better food choices. They're going to lose some fat. But it's different when you start to develop what Dr. Ashton just described as a hormonal imbalance. Your body doesn't respond the same way. I know personal trainers very often work with people and in their group, it's a boot camp, for example, many of the people get results and some of the people don't. And the trainer blames the people. They go, oh, they're probably not doing it. They're probably not eating right. They are, they're just maladapted. And personal trainers don't understand this. We are not all the same. When somebody moves away from optimal metabolism, their body will not respond the same way. So here's what I want you to understand. If you are suffering with weight loss resistance, whether it's 10 pounds you can't get rid of or over hundred, you are not alone. This is not a strange thing that's happening to you. You are like 70% of the adult population. The great majority of American adults suffer with a condition that I will describe in a moment as remass. It is a metabolic maladaptation, as Dr. Ashton just echoed, your metabolism changes because your hormones change. And whether it was a diet or excessive exercise, you did something that your body didn't understand, and so it tried to protect you by slowing metabolism down. So here's the beautiful thing. Once you accept that, once you go, hey, I'm not so strange, this is what happens to human beings who do what I do, then you become empowered because now you're open to the outcome. What is the outcome? People very often say to me, I want to lose weight. I say, well, what else do you want? They go, oh, that's it. I just want to lose weight. Now, I'm going to be very facetious and obnoxious when I tell you what I sometimes say. I say, okay, you know what? We're going to cut off a body part and then we'll put you on the scale and we'll see how much you weigh. And if you're not happy, we'll cut off another body part. And they go, no, 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 I don't want to do that. You know, of course you don't. So why would you sacrifice lean body mass? Why would you sacrifice good tissue? It's not about weight loss. It's about fixing what's broke. It's about feeling great. It's about having energy, about things being effortless about a sense of happiness and joy and confidence. And with that, yes, you will lose weight, but you wanna do it in a way that is healthful and leads to physical excellence. This is what people want. So if this is what they want, why aren't they there? Because they're misinformed, because they believe nonsense, because they've seen too many infomercials and they think, oh, this didn't work for me. No, this didn't work for you because this doesn't work. There is no supplement that burns fat. We already said there is no drug that's going to lead to long-term healthful weight loss, none. Some of the information they find, like in the supermarket checkout line, is misinformation. In other words, the author of the article might have thought the cabbage soup diet was good. But then there are the people who market products and diets and drugs in some cases, and that's disinformation, that's intentional. So with all of this information overwhelm, people are just confused. They just don't know the right way. And that's why we're here tonight. So the condition that all of these people have, the one that Dr. Ashton just referred to, is a condition that I named REMAS. You don't have to remember this long name, but it is Restrictive Endocrine Maladaptive Adrenal Stress Syndrome. Because you're living under stress, your endocrine system, your hormonal system, becomes compromised and restricts you from producing energy and from losing weight. And this is the underlying condition that underlies all of chronic disease and there's no medication that will fix it. It is a progressive disease of the endocrine system. It usually comes about by lifestyle, not eating the right foods, not exercising, not taking care of yourself, maybe alcohol, junk food. It all plays into the development of this condition, erratic eating, high sugar meals, hydrogenated fats, all of these things work together to create this condition. How does and it manifest? Stress. And What's stress. That? Mental stress. Absolutely. Yes. Mental stress is probably the most under recognized system that causes 
just to get worse. With all the other things you described, mental stress. I know that from my own experience. Stress can literally kill you because you can't be fighting lions and bears 24-7. Your body can't do that. And yet we put ourselves in a stressful situation all the time. You all have been under stress for over a year now because of this pandemic thing. And you, and Phil has a way to tr train you how to deal with stress, which I think is maybe even more important than the other things, diet and exercise. Uh, that's just my own personal opinion, because if you're under stress, you don't feel like you're getting anywhere when you try to do those other things. You've got to also reduce the stress. And it's all part of it because stress yeah. is the factor that drives this condition. So a part of this condition is you crank out more cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone. This starts the hormonal imbalance. As a result, you develop what's called insulin resistance. Your cells cannot receive sugar. You get elevated blood sugar. You wind up with fatigue. You wind up with erratic energy. You wind up with brain fog. When you have brain fog, you forget your kids' names. You miss your exit on the highway. You go back in your house because you think you forgot your phone, even though you're talking to somebody on the phone. That's brain fog. These are all the result of stress leading to this hormonal imbalance. And one of the major side effects that sends people to the doctor is they start to gain weight. That's the one that upsets them the most. Can this be reversed? 100,000% yes. It's what I do for a living now. I have always been in the fitness field, um, but I found my way into this part of the territory, a space between fitness and medicine, when I was misdiagnosed with Parkinson's disease. That's another story for another time. It turned out to be mold toxicity. And when I got the right diagnosis, I got well within 10 days. Had I listened to the doctor, a very prestigious doctor at a major institution, had I listened to the doctor, I would have probably lived the rest of my life taking Parkinson's meds, drooling in a wheelchair. So that taught me a lot about the medical system. I'm a fan of medicine. I'm a fan of doctors, but the system is imperfect. So when I start to look at a system that treats people as if their disease is irreversible, it drove me to a different path. And that's what brought me here. So every single day I'm proving that remass is reversible. It's what I do. So the fix is available. The fix is what I'm gonna share with you. And I'm not gonna make a secret of this. Dr. Ashton and I are going to invite you to participate in a program called the Metabolic Reboot. I've only known Dr. Ashton probably three months. Um, he came to my facility. We did an intake and he went through the program. And then we had some conversations and he said, Phil, we gotta bring this. We gotta bring this together. So that's what we're doing. So I am going to give you the elements of the fix but if you want to come with us, it's a 21-day program. 12 people who are here tonight will participate in it. It's important that we understand that we are not just our physical body. Because if we're just our physical body, then it would make sense that we go to the doctor just like you bring your car to a mechanic. But when Dr. Ashton just said stress, what is driving that mental stress? Well, it's this intangible thing called the mind. What is the mind? We can't really touch it, but we know it exists and we know it chatters and we know it sometimes gives us good advice and sometimes bad advice. But if we perpetually think thoughts that lead to stress, we will perpetually experience an endocrine imbalance. So at some level, we have to recognize we're more than the body. We are made up of the brain, the gut and the immune system, all factors in creating this imbalance and mind, spirit, and self. And ultimately the health of your body is the health of your cells. When we talk about the mind, a huge part of my programs is aimed at mindset, at getting people to think differently, to interrupt the flawed thinking. If for example, you ever went to the doctor and the doctor said, you are diabetic, that became a label. And you say to yourself in your own voice, I am diabetic. And when people come and meet with me for the first time and they say, I am diabetic, I'll ask them a silly question. I say, are you a cold? And they, they look at me funny. They go, huh? I go, are you a cold? And they go, no, no, I'm not cold. I go, no, no, are you a cold? 
like, did you ever have a runny nose and, and a sore throat? And they go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, well, what did you say when you had that? They go, I'd say, I have a cold. Aha. Uh -huh. You didn't say I am a cold. Yet you say I am a diabetic. So what is the difference? Well, you believe the cold is going to go away. But because you get the label stamped on you, I am diabetic, I am depressed, I am hypothyroid, that becomes the driver of mindset. I am obese, I am overweight, I am unmotivated. We've got to change that wiring. And that's a big part of the program. It's simple. We do it in ways that are fun. But I want you to realize the mental exercises are every bit as important as the physical exercise. All of this works together. One of the things that I invite people to do when they start the Reboot program is be honest about where they are. Acknowledge your discontent. You know, sometimes somebody will say to me, oh, if I can only lose 10 pounds, I'll be happy. And I go, well, when was the last time you feel great? And they go, 70 pounds ago. I go, okay, so why would you settle for 10? You know, let's get the whole thing. Eh, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I think it's really important that you acknowledge your discontent because if we're going to fix it, you have to acknowledge it. So what is your pain? What is your issue? What is your problem? I met with a woman recently and she started crying and I asked her why she's crying. And she said, because I'm talking about all the things that are making me think about this weekend. I have to go to a pool party. My daughter's invited to a birthday party. And I said, okay, those are those tears of joy. She said, no, I dread going to a pool party because I'm not going to let anybody see what I look like underneath. So she was acknowledging her pain. And I think that's important because you've got to be able to create a separation between where you are and where you wanna be. And the gap between where you are and where you wanna be, that's the road we have to travel. And if you can acknowledge your discontent and get clear on where you wanna be, now we can adjust your mindset so it becomes what I call creative tension. It pulls you to the outcome. So mindset is very important. And my programs all fall under the heading of transgenesis. Transgenesis meaning you're traveling to a new beginning. Genesis is beginning. So in a sense, you are experiencing an exodus from what makes you unhappy and moving to a new beginning, literally recreating your body. Dr. Ashton was very clear in saying that stress causes the breakdown. It's not that stress is bad. Stress can be good. You know, if you've ever had to study for an exam and you felt pressured and then you did well on the exam, the stress made you study harder. Sometimes if you're at work and you're forced to do something and then you suddenly realize, wow, I can do that and you elevate. So stress is not bad. If you run, that is stress upon your body, your circulatory system, your respiratory system. But ultimately, if it stimulates improvement, it's good. So it's not that stress is bad. It's when stress exceeds recovery. This is the key. When your stress load exceeds your recovery. Now, remember earlier I showed you homeostasis. I said, that's where you go to recover. When your stress brings you to a point that you cannot recover, you start to break down. And it doesn't happen in a moment. It happens along a continuum. I met a man who told me he got diabetes when he was 52. We were sitting at a dinner, a bunch of people around. He goes, yeah, I got diabetes when I was 52. And I said, no, you didn't. And he looked at me and he goes, yeah, yeah, I did. I said, no, you didn't. And he started getting irritated. He goes, how do you know? I said, because nobody gets diabetes when they're 52. He goes, I did. I went to the doctor and he told me I have diabetes. I said, that I believe. That when you were 52, you were diagnosed. But man, you started getting diabetes when you were 11 drinking Mountain Dew. That's when it started. Or maybe when you were four and your mom was giving you juicy juice. Because these things don't, you don't catch diabetes from a toilet seat. This happens on a continuum. So it's a progression. And along that progression, metabolism breaks down, digestion breaks down, cognition breaks down, recovery starts to break down. And it's a certain point, feels like the breaking point that somebody finally goes to the doctor. But they don't go in the moment that it started, they go in the moment of discontent. And as they move along this continuum, they develop symptoms like insomnia and anxiety and fatigue. And unfortunately, if they go to an allopathic doctor, a conventional medicine doctor, the course of action is to meet with them for seven to nine minutes and prescribe a drug. And as we already know, there's no drug that will cure chronic disease. 
So I said, with this comes weight loss resistance. What is weight loss resistance? It's when you move along that continuum and you move into a state where your hormones are corrupted, your insulin is not working, your blood sugar is not being stored and released, and the body cannot lose fat no matter what you do. That's what it is. And it plagues a massive portion of our population. Every day, I meet them. I tried everything, I can't lose weight. They haven't tried everything. That in itself is a false belief. They've tried the same things again and again and again and again, and they've gotten the same outcomes again and again and again and again. But once we shift, once we do what I'm suggesting, once we restore the balance between stress load and recovery, the body heals. Now, usually when I meet with somebody, they'll tell me the physical issues, the cosmetic issues that they're unhappy with. But always it goes farther than that. Along with the added fat, cellulite, breakdown of muscle, always comes fatigue. They're tired. They're always tired. And if they go to the doctor, of course, the doctor prescribes a drug or a series of drugs, and we know they won't get well. Every once in a while, somebody says, okay, I'm going to go to the personal trainer. The personal trainer knows how to work with healthy people with good metabolisms. But personal trainers are not trained in working with people with remess. They are not trained in reversing chronic disease. They are under the paradigm that you cannot reverse chronic disease. So unfortunately, what the trainer does is go, come on, man, work out harder, work out harder. Come on, four more, three more, two more, one more. Yes, now we're going to do pull downs. Guess what? We're now stressing the person who's stressed because exercise on top of the stress they have is increasing stress load. So this is the dilemma. People are misinformed. The doctor doesn't know what to do. The trainer doesn't know what to do. The real problem is a combination of stress. And I'm not going to apologize for saying that too many times. I'll say it more. It's that important. Oxidation, which is the breakdown of the cell and maladaptation, which is exactly what we spoke about. Now, if you're looking at your screen, here's the fix. This is it. We've got to make changes in all of these, in the nutrients you take in, in your stress load, in your recovery ability, in the condition of your gut biome. Not some of this. This is not a menu where you pick and choose. All of it. This is why doctors can't help. They don't have the ability to do this. Forget about the knowledge. Even if they had the knowledge, they spend nine minutes with you. How could they possibly do all of this? And that's why I developed this 21 day program because it includes all of it. Now I wanna go back to early Greece for a moment because our medicine comes from Greece. I mean, Hippocrates and uh, Plato, and Aristotle, um, these were revered healers. And if you're looking at your screen, you're seeing a logo or a symbol. And whether I'm at a general conference or a medical conference, I'll ask, what is this symbol? And they'll go, it's a medical symbol. And if I'm in a room of doctors, they'll go, yeah, it's on my license plate. It, it's on my business cards. It's in my office, on the window. It's on the ambulance. They go, okay, but what is it? And they go, uh, it's, a, it's a logo but why two snakes? And ultimately they shrug. They don't know. So I'm gonna make sure you know, this is called the staff or the rod of Hermes. Hermes Trismegistus was revered to be the greatest teacher and healer of all time. And much of religion today comes from the writings of Hermes, every religion. Hermes was a healer and this was his logo. The reason there are two snakes is the snake with its head on the right represents what is called the divine potential of man. What that means is when you come into this world, your body is genius. It just knows what to do. You don't consciously will your heart to beat, it just beats and it knows how many times and the lungs just know what to do. And when you're hungry, you cry and you get food and you feel satiated and then three hours later you cry again. It happens automatically. So you are born into a state of divine perfection. So the snake with its head on the right represents the divine potential of man. The snake with its head on the left represents the physicality of man at a given moment in time. So when the man comes to the healer, the healer 
according to Hermes, should see this man's divine potential, should see where he is now, and then work to restore him to his divine potential. Not medicate him and make him go away. So when we look at this, this is beautiful. But does it truly represent medicine today? Dr. Ashton, what do you think? Unfortunately, it doesn't even come close. So when Dr. Ashton was talking about the impact of stress, it's very real. He said mental stress. I agree. But your body at a certain point has a, has a tipping point and it cannot decipher between emotional stress, mental stress, physical stress. It just knows it's too much. It's just too much. So we call that stress load. So stress load is the sum total of emotional stress, mental stress, social stress, toxic stress from the air we breathe, the chemicals. You know, if you live in a new home and you got new carpet and you have new furniture and everything looks beautiful and has that new home smell, you're breathing in formaldehyde. That's what makes the furniture smell that way. That's stress to your body. And Monsanto is very good at killing weeds, but guess what? The same thing that kills weeds wants to kill your cells. So it becomes stress. So when stress load overwhelms your body's ability to recover, you break down. So it's almost as if you have an organ that's a bucket. You don't, don't go looking for it. But theoretically, if you had a figurative bucket organ, as long as you can empty out the stress, you're okay. But when the bucket overflows, now the stress itself becomes toxic. Your hypothalamus, the part of your brain that monitors everything, starts to make corticotropin-releasing hormone. It sends that chemical to the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland says, I got the signal. I'm going to make more ACTH, adrenal corticotropin hormone. And the only job of ACTH is to tell the adrenals to manufacture the stress hormone. This is stress overload. This is adrenal stress. This is what starts chronic disease. Always, 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 always. It never happens to somebody who's living a beautiful life without stress. Always. So if you know somebody who has a chronic disease, I'm sure that they could relate to this at some level. Now, the way it happens, I said, you don't get the disease in a moment. It happens over time. So the first thing that happens is you get into this adrenal state of overload and you stay with it. So for example, you get very upset at work. Now you're driving home and you're getting texts, but you're in traffic and you're trying to text, but you're watching the road and you're not happy about the text. And now your spouse is calling you saying, when are you gonna get home already? And all of this piles up. You get home, you're grouchy, you say, I can't wait to get to bed. You lay in bed and you're replaying the day over and over and over again. Worse yet, you're thinking about tomorrow because you know it's gonna be a miserable day. This is adrenal stress. As I said earlier, if you get away from the bear, you recover, but the bear doesn't go away. It follows you into bed and it follows you in the morning and it follows you everywhere. So as long as this stress becomes perpetual, your blood sugar becomes erratic. Up and down like a roller coaster. The next thing that happens is your pancreas tries to adjust to the blood sugar and it starts to crank out more insulin. And now the receptors of the cell morph. They change their shape so they can't receive insulin. So now you have a condition called insulin resistance. When you have insulin resistance, now your blood sugar elevates. You go to the doctor, they say, you have prediabetes. You better do something about that. Maybe we'll give you medication. As this continues, the leptin receptors start to morph. Leptin is a hormonal messenger that tells you when you're satiated. So when your leptin receptors switch off, you never feel full. That's why somebody in the state can break out the Ben and Jerry's at 10 o'clock at night, put some in a bowl, and then take out the rest of the pint and eat the whole pint, and then want some cookies afterwards. Because they've literally turned off the ability to feel satiated. And they blame it on cravings. This is all a maladaptation that is correctable. As this continues, the immune system reacts and the way the immune system reacts is it inflames. And the immune system in a sense goes rogue. An autoimmune disease is exactly that. It is the immune system turning against you. The intelligence of the immune system became corrupted. 
and the immune system now starts to inflame different systems of your body. And this leads to a state where you are fatigued, you are exhausted, you can't sleep, you have brain fog, and you gain weight, and no matter what you do, you can't lose it. So Dr. Ashton, did I sum up the problem pretty well? Pretty good, pretty good. A couple of things I wanted, wanted to add that I jotted down here. Yeah. Uh, I, I've written a book called Unplugged for Good, and I'm not plugging the book, but some of the concepts that I have in that book go right along with this. And one of the, well, several of the sources of stress that we have in our life that we don't even, we don't even recognize it as such, but it creeps up on you. And pretty soon you're stressed out and you might not even know why. And one, and I made a little list here, too much television puts you under stress because you, if you're watching a mystery, a murder mystery or something, you get stressed out because you don't know what's going to happen or something. But that's part of the stress because your mind is working on these unsolvable problems and you're feeling stressed out because you go through the action just like you were being attacked by a lion. Then there's the news. You're watching too much news. And over the past year, I am sure you have watched one of the 24 hour a day, seven day a week channels, getting the news over and over and over again until you know exactly what's happening everywhere in the world and it's all bad. Stress, too many commercials. You're watching the commercials that tell you, you need this, you need that, what if you got this? And by the way, if you take our medicine, you may die of a heart attack, have a blood clot, get nausea, get vomiting, and feel like crap. Even worse than what your disease is that they're trying to treat the symptom. Politics is killing our country with stress. Stop it already. You, what goes on in Washington, you're not going to control or have anything to do with until the day you vote. That's the only shot you got at changing something is with your vote. So you've got to observe and be informed, but don't stress out about it. And then the other one, of course, is money. We all stress over money because there's never enough. Even though we live in a nice house, drive a nice car and have all the food we need, we're stressed out because we want more. Those kinds of stresses sneak up on you and make you very, very sick. That's my two cents worth on stress. Yeah, I made a note as you were talking, do not storm the Capitol next week because I think that would be stressful. So I'm that not, would be stressful. For saving me from that. <laughs> <laughs> so there are seven elements of the fix and I'm going to give them the to fix. you. The first one is bio movement. I'll explain what that is in a moment. It's exercise, but it's a very particular type of exercise. Second, parasympathetic recovery. Third, a foundation of what I call supportive nutrition, not dieting. Nutrition that is supportive of the outcome you want. Four, detoxification. Remember I told you, all of these chemicals stress you out. When your digestive tract is clogged with gunk, that causes stress. It all contributes to stress load. Repopulation of the gut flora, what you've heard to be the probiotics or the good bacteria. Most people are in a state of what's called dysbiosis. The bad bacteria are high and the good bacteria are low. Circadian nutrition is the eating plan that I've developed that allows us to rotate through three different nutritional approaches where we speed metabolism, burn fat, and detox. Build metabolism, burn fat, detox. This is a lifetime forever system that has never failed anybody. And the seventh element is mind and spirit because that's how we're gonna optimize your body's ability to recover. So bio movements are movements that move your body the way the body was designed to move, period. When you move in the real world, you move through three planes. When you go to a gym and you sit on a machine, it's linear. That's not the way your body moves. There's nowhere in the world that you push in front of you with your back supported except on the chest press machine in the gym. So we're going to move your body with the muscles working together in a way that is extremely helpful. And a part of the 21 day metabolic reboot program introduces the functional six. This is a program that I came up with 
that literally works every single muscle in the body efficiently in minutes. It is amazing in terms of its benefit. It is so far reaching. You can do this at home. You can do it in a gym. All you need is a medicine ball, a stability ball, and some elastic tubing, some bands, and some dumbbells. You could buy this in any sporting goods store for $100 or less. If you want to do it in a gym, you can, but this is how simple the exercise can be. As a matter of fact, so many people who are suffering chronic disease are doing too much exercise. So we're incorporating bio movements. Second, parasympathetic recovery. The adrenal system cranks up and stays up. The parasympathetic system is the parachute that brings us down. And we live in a society right now where perpetual stress keeps us up. It's not a good thing. All of the things that Dr. Ashton just mentioned serve to keep your adrenal stress high. So there are two systems of the body that are the key to recovery. The immune system, which I've been sharing this for a decade, not just since COVID. I have people coming to my facility through COVID so that they can boost their immune system. And the second system is the parasympathetic recovery system. That's the system that brings you back to homeostasis. If you remember at the beginning, I showed you, crank up and then the bear goes away and now you recover. We've got to get your parasympathetic system working again. There are many things we do to restore parasympathetic recovery, but one of them is amazing in how quickly it works. And it is something called the all out burst. In my program, you will do some aerobic exercise, but not a whole lot. You'll do six minutes. Now, I know that sounds crazy because people think aerobic exercise is the fat burning exercise. Let's not think of it that way. Aerobic exercise is stimulation of the circulatory system and respiratory system. It's also involving the muscular system, the skeletal system. But when you're in a state that your body is used to, if we want to activate the parasympathetic recovery, we've got to push your body to such a high state that it's uncharacteristic and the brakes come on, the parachute comes out. Now, if you're living in stress, your threshold is very high. So we use something called the all out burst. It is not dangerous. It is absurdly effective. Within the six minutes for 12 seconds, literally 12 seconds, you go as fast as you can, as hard as you can. Understand why. That is a signal to the nervous system that stress got super high and the parachute opens. Now I'm giving you an oversimplification, but all of these elements put together in this reboot program it appears to be miraculous. It's not, it's just nature. We're restoring what was destroyed. Third, the foundation of supportive eating. You've got to eliminate what I call energy disruptors. I wish there were another way around this. I wish I didn't have to say this because people go, I need my sugar. I love my sugar. I'm a carb addict, I'm a sugarholic. Listen, if you wanna reverse it, you've gotta stop the blood sugar spikes. You must, there's no way around this. So you've got to stop eating simple sugars, processed foods, fruit juices, baked goods, donuts, pasta, white bread, alcohol. Now here people want to negotiate. They go, well, can I have a little alcohol? You can do whatever you want. I can't control what you do. But if you really want an optimal outcome in 21 days, this is what you have to do. Can you compromise? Sure, but it will compromise your results. If you really want to amaze yourself with what you're capable of, you eliminate energy disruptors. But here's my promise. Even if you're a sugarholic, you will go through three difficult days. The first day, you'll crave sugar. The second day, you'll have insomnia. The third day, you'll be a miserable grouch. And after the third day, if you eat the way I recommend, you will never crave sugar again. This is my promise. Remember, the human body will adapt whatever you try to stimulate it with. So if you deprive yourself of food, it will adapt by slowing metabolism. I'm going to teach you to eat in a manner that is supportive of metabolism. You're going to eat meals, perhaps four a day. And in every meal, you're going to get a good quality protein and a protein sparing nutrient, which could be a good fat or a slow release carbohydrate and some good fibrous carbohydrates, which would be vegetables. This 
is the nutrition program that I'm promising you is flawless. This is not a diet. This is literally something you can sustain for the rest of your life. Everyone who goes through my program stays on this. Every one of my staff members follows this. It is simple. You just have to learn it. There are three phases. The first phase, we eat to restore metabolism. The second phase, we manipulate nutrients to optimize fat release. And you'll be shocked how your body gives up fat in that second phase. And the third phase, you cleanse and detoxify the gut and the cell. This is a partial list from my Metabolic Meals Recipe book. So when I tell you it's not starvation, it's quite the opposite. Um, if you decide to join the program, I'll send you a copy of Metabolic Meals, hundreds of options. This is not starvation. You're gonna probably eat more than you've eaten before and you're gonna feel better than you've ever felt. So it is the anti-diet. Are there supplements you should consider? Yes. Do you need them? No. So I will teach you about these supplements. You don't have to take them. Certainly don't have to take them all. There are some that I think are super important, probiotics, enzymes, but you're gonna get most of your nutrients from food. If you're looking for optimal results, we'll talk about which of these supplements are best, but it's not a long list. There are a lot of supplements out there that are simply unnecessary. I said there are seven elements. The fourth one is detoxifying the gut and the cell and the lymphatic system. I mentioned the microbiome. In a state of health, 85% of the bacteria that live in your gut, and there are trillions of them, I know that's kind of gross to think about, but they're living organisms and they support your health. 85% of them in a state of health are what we call the good bacteria, the probiotics, and 15% are what we'd call the bad bacteria. Now the bad bacteria are not all bad. They have a purpose, but overgrowth of the bad bacteria is bad and leads to disease. Most people who are not in a state of health are flipped. 85% bad bacteria, 15% good. So we've got to reverse that. And then the gut cleanses and you start absorbing nutrients and some of the sensitivities that showed up go away and the cell starts to develop integrity. Cells start to heal and regenerate, and we get cell replication with new healthy cells. The lymphatic system is a system that we don't hear much about. We hear about the immune system now, that's in the news, but the lymphatic system helps the immune system and it, it clears out waste. So cellular waste and cellular debris and dead blood cells are moved out of the body with the lymphatic system. Unlike the circulatory system, the lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. So the circulatory system has the heart that moves blood and oxygen. The lymphatic system relies on you moving. So when you're a child and you're bouncing, your lymphatic system is great. But if you're sitting and sitting and sitting, your lymphatic system gets clogged up and gunked up and you're storing all this waste. What I love is in the first three days on the program, I teach you a movement called the lymphatic windmill or the lymphatic twist. You literally punch yourself in the back. I know it sounds silly, but by doing this, by literally punching yourself, you're palpating what are called the lymphatic trunks and you wake up the lymphatic system. And within three days, and I'm promising you this, everyone who goes through the program within three days, if I ask you how you feel, you're gonna say amazing. And you're not gonna know why. Part of it is you got rid of all the gunk. You had built up waste. Second thing is you're breathing with the diaphragm. I'm gonna teach you to do that. And that also activates the lymphatic system and you take in more oxygen. Once we've worked on detoxifying the gut, now we need to put in good bacteria so that they populate. You don't just wanna eat probiotics. You want the probiotics to move in and, and have babies. You want them to go, this is a nice place to live hey, you look kind of cute, let's make babies. And then you populate the probiotics. So you might want to use a probiotic formula, I encourage most people to, but you're certainly gonna to wanna to eat some fermented foods. When I say you need to eat good bacteria, most people go, well, what about yogurt? Yogurt that comes from grass-fed cows made with real cultures is good. But the yogurt you buy in the grocery store is loaded with sugar and that feeds the bad biotics. So it's a little bit of a re-education in what to eat. 
Also in the third phase of circadian nutrition, we do something called intermittent eating, or we can call it intermittent fasting. It is a very effective program for detoxifying the body. It is not starvation, not by a long shot, but we use little tricks, little biohacks. You wake up in the morning, you squeeze organic lemon into warm water. It tricks your digestive system into thinking you've taken in food and the smooth muscle starts to move and clear off all the buildup on the walls of the digestive tract. At noon, you have a green smoothie, a very specific green smoothie. Now you're getting fiber and nutrients clearing out the gut. And then at a certain time of day, you have meals, complete meals. It's wildly effective. And then the seventh key is mind and spirit. And I've integrated into the program such very simple strategies. I have struggled with meditation. I've read studies, I've looked at research, I know people who teach classes, but I could never quiet my own mind. But I found ways. And looking at the research and looking at the results from people in the program, I can show you how to get the benefits of meditation within 90 seconds, literally, by simply imagining light moving through your body. I know this sounds absurd. You can tell I'm going quickly because there's so much to share, but these are the highlights. This is what works. This is what works to reverse chronic disease. So just listening to what I said, if you wanna to start to improve, eliminate sugars, eliminate energy disruptors, stop eating anything genetically modified. Eat the ugly fruit, not the pretty fruit. I could do a whole talk about that. I won't right now. If you're going to eat plant-based, you've got to get really educated in how to get all the nutrients you need. If you're going to eat meat, you're going to have to make some switches and have grass-fed meat and free range and organic. So there's a bit to learn. It's all covered in the program. You got to make sure you get protein in every meal. Protein is the material from which we build new healthy cells. It's also what is called thermic. It requires a lot of work in the act of digestion, which causes your metabolism to speed up. Start to bounce, jump, do things that move lymph through the lymphatic system. The functional six movements, I'll share them with you. You can do that routine every single day. And after the functional six, six minutes of aerobic exercise with a 12 second all out burst. That alone will be miraculous. If you're looking for complete restoration, recovery, understand it happens along a continuum. This doesn't happen in a day, but you'll see evidence in three days. You'll be thrilled in 15 days and it'll be indisputable in 21 days. So Dr. Ashton, should I go ahead and offer this opportunity to 12 people? Yeah, uh, let me just say that we're looking for someone that really wants to do this because we are going to put together a program that we're calling the pioneers of this program. We have a goal in mind. We need to reset the medical paradigm in our country. And it's a big, it's a big deal, but we need to start somewhere. And with, with Phil's 30 years of experience, I am overjoyed to have met him someone that's speaking my language because as a surgeon i've been restricted i haven't been the full powerful healing doctor that i've always dreamt that i would be because i'm basically a surgeon a technician but this metabolic reboot program i believe is the salvation for the medical profession, which I feel is getting worse and worse as time goes on. Because we, as physicians, have become slaves of big farm. They tell us what drug to use, we write the prescription, we cover up the symptom, and we send the patient to another doctor for another reason to get another prescription. This has got to stop, and it's got to be through awareness of these concepts that Phil teaches. He's taught for 30 years. He's, as you see, he's expert at teaching these concepts. And he's expert at knowing which direction we should be going. And most doctors miss the mark. I'm telling you, 
I've been in it for 40 years. We are missing the mark by treating the symptom and not the disease. And of course, the disease is inflammation. And he went through all the steps to describe why we have so much inflammation in our bodies. So, yeah, let's, let's, we want a group and he's going to tell you about the program. I'm involved in the program. Uh, you're going to be dealing with me along the way because uh, there's going to be a medical consultation. We're going to do an intake. We're going to find out what your problems are and we're going to find out what direction we need to go to solve the problem, not cover up the problem. And I can guarantee you this based on all of my experience and, and now knowing about Phil that instead of living the last 10 or 15 years of your life in suffering, you're going to have 10 or 15 years more life, more joy, more health, more production. And if you, you need to do that, not only for yourself, but I see very ill people coming in with families that have to support that person and deal with that person on a day-to-day -day basis when they're constantly going downhill. And I ask them, well, what are you doing? What are you eating? Well, I watch television and I eat sugar and bread. Yeah, it just, it simply comes down to that. So we can change that. Do you want 10 or 15 or 20 years of joy? Or do you want to end up in the intensive care unit spending $3 million for the last three months of your life and then checking out after putting your family through misery. It's not only you that you need to think about. You need to think about everyone in your environment as well. You need to be well to make your family well. That's it. For me, that's it. Yeah, and, and guys, I'll share this with you. Uh, when I met Dr. Ashton, you know, he struck me as genuine, as sincere. And the truth is, he started to tear it up a little bit because of what he just shared with you. He's a surgeon, he's felt like a technician and he has a heart for helping people and he feels like now's his chance. And that's the only reason that we're doing this together. This is not a new program. I've had 8,000 people go through this program, but him connecting with it, this is new. And that's why all of you found out about it. So the actual program includes the 21 day metabolic reboot, which is delivered online. It's not a little bit, it's a lot. So over 21 days, every day you get a download, you get a private library online. Every day you get an email that says there's new information, you go into your library. Some days there's a webinar to watch. Other days it's just a download, but it walks you through this process step by step. In addition, before you begin, you're gonna do a consultation live and in person with Dr. Ashton. And we're also going to draw some labs so that we have a baseline for comparison. We're going to look at certain markers that doctors don't normally look at to see where your inflammation is now and what happens 21 or 30 days from now. You're also going to go through a virtual consultation with one of my trainers. These are not just personal trainers. These are top highly educated fitness professionals that understand every single thing I'm sharing with you. What they do for a living is what we're talking about here. In addition to that initial virtual session with a trainer, they will take you through three one-on-one -on -one sessions. We might work it out where they come in person, depending on where you live. Certainly we can do it virtually. When you finish, you'll do a closing review with the trainer, and then you'll do a post-program medical review. So this is hand-holding all the way through. Every single element here is covered. You're gonna get the medical intake including an assessment of where you are on the remass scale. He's gonna look at your vitals and look at things that we can track so that we can do comparisons. We're gonna draw the labs before, we're gonna draw the labs after. You're gonna do the intake with the trainer, you're gonna get the remote program. All of this has a value to it. So when we look at what we will sell this for, looking at every item that we have, we're looking at a $2,200 program, an extreme value at that. And I want you to understand this. The $2,200 investment is not for 21 days. It is for the rest of your life. Because once you learn this, you don't unlearn it. This is not a program that ends. This is a program that teaches you, empowers you. And at the end of it, you have a new way of eating. 
and you have a new way of exercising and you've restored parasympathetic recovery. But as Dr. Ashton said, he said to me earlier, I wanna do something special for the people who are willing to be the pioneers in this because I wanna collect all their data. I wanna be hands-on. I wanna make sure that these people get the ultimate outcome. So I wanna create an incentive so that nothing holds them back. So if you decide to join us for this 21 day metabolic reboot, and we're all going to start it together, even though everything's downloadable, we're gonna start it together and we have a live Facebook group. So you can ask questions 24 seven on April 12th. So between now and April 12th, you'll schedule your intakes, you'll watch some preliminary videos, you'll prepare your kitchen, you'll get yourself ready. And on April 12th, we begin 21 days of change. Everything that I just shared is available for 1098 total. There's no other cost. That includes everything. It includes the labs, the intakes, the sessions with Dr. Ashton, all of it. Dr. Ashton, what do you want to say in closing? And Sal, I'm glad we didn't get cut off. We made it, right? We made it. And Sal, what should they do if they want to be one of the 12 people? So I just put a little uh, thing in the chat box with the offer. Um, and today, we'll, uh, and Phil, I believe we said we we're going to do a $199 um, deal where you come in to reserve your spot in it. Yep. And then we'll collect the rest after uh, payment. But that'll start getting you access uh, to some of the components of the program. Um, but I, I put the link right into the chat box if you click on it. And after this call, I will be sending everyone the uh, recorded version because there are some people that couldn't make it today. Um, there may be another offer that's coming in that, but there'll be some more information and the link will be in there as well and the opportunity to sign up. Beautiful. So 199 tonight, Sal sent the link. Let me make sure I can get that link just to make sure. And, you know, I'm okay with it, Sal, if you want to, but can we open it up to a few questions knowing that we might get cut off by the Zoom powers that be? Yeah, sure, one more got... thing to add, Phil. One more thing here. Yeah. You know, I'm not just going to do the medical intake. I teach and write about metaphysical concepts. And I've written a couple of books that you're going to get free. Uh, one is called Living Above the Chaos, which is a 200 page book that I have written based on my own experience at learning how to live above the chaos because your stress levels are going to go up and up and up unless you can learn to live above the chaos that will always be with us. So that's one book that I'm going to gift to you. The other one is. 12 Secrets of Radically Healthy People. Some research that I did about, you know, some of the people that come into my office are in unbelievably great health. And I interviewed these people and put together this little booklet, this little book about how they did that. Then the other book is Unplugged. Now, when we meet, we're gonna be talking about some of the concepts in these books, and plus I'm gonna gift you these books. Wow. There you go. That's what I'm going to offer. Now, you want to take a question or two, or should we wrap it up? I'm going to leave that in your hands. What time is it? We could do like two minutes. If anyone has a question, unmute their line, unmute it, and ask a question. Robbie, there you go. Yeah. Okay. I have two questions. Does Medicare cover any of this? Nope. Okay. And is the timing set or is there, I mean, at your own convenience or how does that work with these virtual things? Phil can answer that. Yeah, you will get access to a library. So you're gonna choose a password and then you'll have your own library and every day you'll get a download. So day one will show up, the following day, day two, following day, day three. But once you have it, it never goes away. So you can start it on the day of the first download, but you don't have to. You can start it a week later, a month later. I'm starting it with my staff, hundreds of my clients. You guys are welcome to join us. We're starting it on April 12th. That way we can all be on the same day at the same time and we'll connect through a Facebook group. But that's an extra. So the answer is you can start it anytime you want. You'll get complete access to the entire program. It just unfolds over 21 days, but once you have it, it stays. Okay, well, can we reserve a spot now? Sure. Um, Sal sent a link. Sal, can you email it, sir? 
Absolutely. I don't know what you okay. did from here. <laughs> if you go in the chat uh, thing at the bottom, you could also click on the link uh, that I put in there. I will send it again, but I will also email it to you as well. Okay. Thank you for that question. And you know what? I wish I could say, yes, Medicare pays for it. This is one of the frustrations that every um, progressive doctor that I know struggles with is they're, in a sense, slaves to the drug companies and the insurance companies. And right. people make their decisions based on what insurance will pay for. And yeah. it's really unfortunate. I mean, sometimes uh, somebody will want to go get their labs done and they learn about certain markers that we look at, like C-reactive protein. And they go to the doctor and they go, could I check my C-reactive protein? And the doctor goes, well, your insurance won't pay for it. So they don't check it. And it, it, I feel like there's something criminal about that. Like it's their own body. It's their own. Why should the insurance company decide what they can check? I've seen cases where somebody has a diagnosis and the doctor tells his staff member to call their insurance to see if insurance will pay for the MRI. And then they have to come back in and go, sorry, your insurance won't cover it. So I really wish we had a better system. Um, however, this is about investing in yourself. And I think when it comes to the rest of your life, we have to stop relying on insurance and drug companies and really take responsibility. So I'm glad you asked that question. Anybody else, any thought, comment, question at all about anything? Going once. No, I mean, I guess I'm hoping I'm signed in. <laughs> all right. Well, I enjoyed hanging out with all of you guys. Dr. Ashton, thank you for this. I'm looking forward to what we're going to do together. Thank you. And I look forward to getting to meet at least 12 of you uh, as we go forward. And listen, I'm sitting in front of you live right now. This isn't a pitch. This is what I do. So um, there's no promise that I will make you that we won't live up to. So I really look forward to, for any of you who have struggled with weight loss resistance, with chronic disease, the fix is here. Thank you, everybody. It was really you're fun. Going to be sending you. Out a, you're going to be sending out a video of this so I can review this with my wife. It's my wife that I'm interested in having. Absolutely. So tom tomorrow morning, I'm going to have to cut that this evening. And then tomorrow morning, everyone that's on this call uh, will be getting a recorded copy of it as well. And please forward uh, accordingly. And if we have any more questions, can we call Dr. Ashton's office or Dr. Kaplan's office? No, so you don't want to call Dr. Ashton's office. Just re, uh, You can reply back to the email or you could go to drtomashton.com. There's a chat box in there. You're more than likely will interact with me uh, with the supervision of Dr. Ashton. Uh, if need be, I could get him to help answer that. Okay. All right. That's great. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. I look forward to meeting you guys on the other side of this. Thank you. Good night and be better. Thank you. Uh